I wish there was a pill that you could take to lose fat fast, but because quick fixes don't work, we're going to talk about what you should do instead. And if you want to learn how to lose fat sustainably, then subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Vivian and I am a fat loss coach. With quick fixes, they might promise that you're able to reach your dream body in just two weeks, or you can lose 20 pounds in a single month, but that's just not true. Maybe in that amount of time, you're able to start building healthy habits and you might be able to see some noticeable changes, but you're not gonna work hard for a month, get your dream body, and then stop forever. Like, that's not how it works. I wish that was the case though. Quick fixes are a distraction. The sooner that you can accept that you're not gonna reach your goal weight in a month, the sooner that you can actually work towards sustainable fat loss, the kind of progress that doesn't go away in a couple of weeks. You might be used to focusing on your goal and tracking your progress in terms of weeks and months, but a better way would be to focus on your days and years. Let me explain why. The issue with paying attention to weeks and months is that one, you might choose an unsustainable method where you fall off track and give up prematurely. Or if you do stick it out for those weeks and months, then you might not get the results you were expecting in that amount of time, you get disappointed, and then you ultimately give up. You're going to feel discouraged when you keep giving up and having to start over again, and then you spend so many years in a body that you don't feel in control of, when instead you could just play the long game, pick up habits that are sustainable and can integrate into your lifestyle, and eventually you'll reach your goal. Now let's talk about why thinking in terms of days and years is a better approach. When you focus on each day, you get to work on what you actually have control over. You can't go back in time and redo what you've already done. That's out of your control, but you can start today and work towards a better future. Your power is now. You can't force your body to rush fat loss, but what you can do is create an environment that would encourage fat loss. And you do that with your daily actions, choosing to eat protein and vegetables today, choosing to stick with a workout schedule. That is what you're in control of. Now let's look at the yearly view. So there's this quote, and some people on the internet debate whether it was by Bill Gates or whether it's by somebody else. But anyways, the quote goes, people overestimate what they can do in a day, but underestimate what they can do in a year. Don't try to make a 180 in your lifestyle overnight because you're not gonna be able to stick with it. And you don't need that to make a massive change in your life. You just need some key changes done consistently over time and you'll get results. It's not sexy, but it works. The reason why these small consistent changes can make a huge difference in your life, especially over the course of the year, is because they build up and then compound. They can give you exponential results, but you just have to get the ball rolling. For example, if you want to start moving more, then you could get your butt to the gym three days a week. You just have to physically get there. And then maybe you start walking. So every time you go to the gym, you just walk for a little bit. And then you're like, oh, lifting looks kind of cool. I've been good on this walking thing for a while, so let me try lifting. And then you start lifting, see some gains, make some buddies. Those buddies encourage you to lift more. And then you're like, well, if I'm doing all this work in the gym, I might as well eat a little bit better, like eat more protein to fuel my gains. And you're like, okay, over time, you might as well eat a little bit more vegetables. And then you start eating better, start cooking more at home. You like go on hikes with your family. You go on like walking dates with your gym buddies. And like you make all these lifestyle changes so that it's easier to sustain. And you're like happier and having fun while getting healthier and reaching your fat loss goals. Right now, you might think that you want fast fat loss, but in reality, you probably want sustainable fat loss where you don't regain the weight, and you probably want a process that you don't dread and doesn't make you miserable. When I used to yo-yo diet, I was stuck in that vicious cycle because I kept looking for what would make me look like a new person in a matter of weeks, and I thought that I had to do something extreme and hard and that I had to prove myself but I just ended up wasting years and getting fatter from that. But when I accepted that it's okay to not rush things, a thought popped into my head that said, let's see where we're at in two years. And I know two years seemed like such a long time, but that took a lot of pressure and expectations off of myself. So then I was able to enjoy food, enjoy my workouts, and frankly, just enjoy life. 
Shifting to that long-term view helped me lose fat, keep it off, and look really cute in crop tops. It helped that I didn't have to be so rigid. Like if I went on vacation or if I got a little bit off track with my macros, I didn't freak out and fall off track. I was able to keep going because it's really not that big of a deal to have these little speed bumps on your journey versus a crash diet where you have to stick to such rigid rules and you feel like a failure who lacks any sort of willpower if you deviate even a hair. Basically, focus on what sustainable actions you can do today and the day after and the day after so that a year from now, you're able to look back and be proud of what you've accomplished. If you want to see what steps I took to get from binging and restricting to losing fat and keeping it off, then click the link in my description box down below to sign up for my free webinar. And when you watch until the very end, you'll also get my free guide to macros. If you like the video, press the like button. If you like the kind of information I put out, press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful for you and I hope your life is filled with gratitude too.